Welcome everybody, Brother Goodwin here, Prophecy in the Spotlight. We've got a very, very important show entitled Shadows of the Four Horsemen. Stay tuned. And welcome everybody, Prophecy in the Spotlight. I'm your host, Brother Dan Goodwin, sitting with me as usual, Dr. Charles Hiltabitter. We've got a very important, very sobering show for you today. My friends, we are at the end of this thing. There's no doubt about that. Uh, we are coming up to the soon return of the Lord Jesus Christ to snatch His people, His saints off of this planet. Amen. And we're going to a marriage supper up in heaven, brother. I'm ready. And uh, listen, uh, Doc, our show today about about the four horsemen, shadows yeah. of shadows. the four horsemen. Because they're not riding yet because it's not time, but we're seeing the four shadows of the stage for them. So, in other words, right after the rapture in Revelation 4, mm -hmm. John sees some things. We won't get into all that. That's another a whole other topic. But eventually, John is told to come and see. Yes. And he sees the opening of the first seal, first seal. on the book. And it happens yes. to be the first four seals are what we call the four horsemen. Right. And uh, <laughs> one of them really is a, a man, but. Um, they're figurative, obviously. Yes. Um, the guy comes on a white horse, figurative of Antichrist coming on the scene. I believe it's a picture because the, the Christ is going to come on a white horse, so yep. the counter Antichrist is going to be pictured in that white okay. horse. Okay, so we, uh, this has to do with, these four horsemen have to do with globalism, yes, famine and wars and death, yes. and uh, pestilence. Yeah. And these are all going to happen ra quite rapidly at the beginning of the tribulation. The point, the point is this: <clears throat> if these things all happen pretty quickly after the after we're taken out of here, mm -hmm. then the structure has already got to be here. Well, I, I I think they're going to happen as we're out because the timing of the tribulation has a particular time. We know of the 2,520 days, and it's connected to that covenant of the Antichrist. So, all of this as you're saying, the stage has got to be ready for him to come on that. Well, how about, how about give us a couple of verses? We're in Revelation 6. Yeah. Give us a couple of verses there. He said, uh, when the first seals opened, he said, I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard as it was the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts saying, come and see. And I saw and behold a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. All right. So to start. That's the, the first one. Yeah. So to start to start out our, our lecture here, our, our our show, we have a, a new correspondent that's going to be helping us from time to time, and uh, she she's going to give the us, lady on the street. <laughs> yeah, she's going to give uh, give uh, some details from an article yes. that she's written, and uh, so let, let's have that right now, Miss Tiffany. Did you know that the Biden administration is working to give sovereignty of America over to the World Health Organization? Hi, I'm Tiffany Druin. I am a journalist with ThirdAdam.com. It is a Christian news website that was began by missionary Spencer Smith for Christians. Beginning in May 22 through May 28, the World Health Assembly will be reviewing and voting on measures that will result in the World Health Organization taking over sovereignty of over 190 nations. If this is approved, then the World Health Organization will have unprecedented uh, power over these nations and their resulting laws and implementations of processes in case there are other pandemics. If this is approved, the uh, process will be formalized 
and began in November of this year. This will be reviewed throughout the process and the finalized versions and finalized stages will be reviewed in 2024 by the 77th UN World Council. For more information and more detail on this news story as well as other news stories, visit thirdadam.com. Thank you. All right, and uh, pretty, pretty wild stuff, Doc. I tell you, the stage is being set for that one world order just like that. The World Health Organization. And who would have thought it would be the health issue that's going to be the thing that brings us together? Well, with, so we don't get thrown off um, YouTube. Um, the thing that happened the last few years has set the stage for everything. It has. And who? It, it got the whole mind of the world on health and one organization, and here we are. And who, I don't think anybody in the prophecy world saw this. No, I, I certainly didn't Suddenly see it. Suddenly it showed up right before the election. Um, Donald Trump is still president. And this thing shows up and the whole world starts to shake and people yep. are scared and yep. and all of a sudden we, we turned our whole life over to medical organizations. That's it. We, we supposedly turned it over to science yeah. But I believe the Bible had it right. Science, falsely falsely so-called. So -called. Exactly right. Now, uh, as the information <laughs> keeps coming out, we we know. <laughs> yeah. So, shadows of the of the four horsemen is basically what we're saying is there's things that we're seeing today, all over the world. Yes. That we can go to the Bible in Revelation six. And God's told us it already and there, will happen. And, yeah. and and there it is. There it is. But the the first horseman. Of course, he, he is the Antichrist, no doubt about it, in my mind. Yeah, no doubt. But he's like Nimrod. And when you go back to the 11th chapter of Genesis, uh, the people wanted to do it. And that's what we've had. We want, people want protection. They want all of these things. And so this world organization is supposedly providing it right now for a man to step on the scene, take charge. Yeah. I don't know who he is, but I, I'm confident he's... He's in the wings. Well, he has to be. If if we're almost to the end of this thing, this this guy's alive and well. Oh, somewhere. I think he's alive and well. I I think he, there's probably more than one of them trying to vie for that position. Uh, you can see different leaders of the world would fit into the things and yeah. uh, some of the things that are happening with the technological world today and and Mr. Musk and things of that nature. I, you could see where all kinds of people could step on the stage and be that man. Now, I hope people realize, you know, Elon Musk, Elon Musk seems to, you know, we're all cheering him right now. He seems yeah. to be in our corner. But, but it'd be another guy. But he's not a believer. He's not a believer. He, he's, he does not believe in, in heaven and hell. He doesn't believe no. in God as far as, far as what yeah. I've read about him. Now, I read an article where he's supposed to have made a profession of faith, but I, I know an awful lot of people that made professions of faith in, in all the years of ministry that hadn't had any, produ hadn't had any evidence of it. Well, he read... He, he said something on Twitter recently about kind of mocking hell yeah, and all that. That's what I mean. Yeah, you're and, right. And, you know, I got, I got the idea that he's just a, a secularist. And uh, he's, a, he's a man who knows how, he knows how to work the system to his benefit. Yeah. And yeah. so, you know, he could. But he's just one of many of that caliber and nature that's in the world, either politicians or, or financial people or whatever. So, and and uh, he, he could turn out to be somebody great. Yeah. Or he could turn out to be. He could be turn out to be the. <laughs> yes, but right. Yeah. So. But there are a lot. No doubt, we're watching the foreshadows of that one world order, and it's it's all but here, Dan. So we we uh, um, we have a few things that we're going to talk about today. I have my book, the Revelation Study yes. Guide. I'm going to. I may read a couple of lines out of this, but I talk about in the book. Revelation chapter 6, I talk about the four horsemen, mm -hmm. and I give a, just a brief sure. scenario mm -hmm. of them. I also give some, some points about that that I think are worth reading real quickly here, some lessons here. Think of these four horsemen as events and uh, not men. You know, I, I realize yep. the first one's a man that comes on the scene. But think of the four horsemen as events um, mm -hmm. and, not, and not 
just uh, uh, not a horseman necessarily. And they're, they're not just single events. Right. Mm -hmm. I realize the first horseman represents the false Christ, and, and he is a man. But think of it as an event. It is the crowning of a world dictator, the Antichrist. Each of these seals and trumpet judgments are events that will take place. Number two, let me say this, the opening of the next seal or the blowing of another trumpet does not end the prior judgment. No, they just keep going. You and I were talking about we that off keep, the air. It just keeps adding to the you, misery. Yeah, you tend to think that when the next seal's open, the other one's yeah, it's passed, but no, it's not. It's, it's still, still going riding. on. There's still people dying of plagues and stuff. Yes. Um, it adds to it. And uh, in other words, when a destructive earthquake takes place in one of the judgments, soon another judgment takes place and the attention is drawn away. But remember that there is still the awful suffering and chaos yes. from the earthquake. Imagine if yeah. you live in that area yes. where the earthquake happened and then the camera shifts to the next event. You're still dealing you're, with You're it. still picking up rocks trying to yeah. find your family under yeah. the rubble. Yeah. yeah. One fourth of the world's population that is here after the rapture will die. That's a staggering thought. In these first four horsemen. Yeah. And well, that's what the, the very last verse, verse number eight, that's what it's all about. It sums it all up. Yes. Realize it is Jesus. Boy, get, get this, folks. Hmm. It is Jesus Christ himself opening these seals. That's right. Bringing the judgment He's down He's directing here the earth. it. He's not the guy on the donkey anymore, is he? He's, Not anymore. He, this is a, that's what's called the revelation of Jesus Christ. He's now the lion. Yeah. <laughs> um, and lastly here, the judgments of the tribulation are the process of redemption for this sin-cursed world yeah. and for the nation of Israel. Yeah. And uh, did, we get a, did we get this up on the screen? Okay, good. Um, be, and I say this, be sure you're saved. Amen. <laughs> so you don't hear right. for this. Do all you can to get your loved ones don't saved. Don't want to miss the rapture. Do all you can to get your loved ones saved. Yes. And live your life like you believe Christ could come today. today. That's good, Dan. And yeah. uh, all of the chapters in the Revelation, yeah. I have lessons, application. Yeah. Have a closing thought here. Thank God for the blessed hope. Amen. Looking for that blessed hope and that glorious appearing. This is on the website. If you don't have this yet, I would encourage you to get this thing. I think you would really love it. Uh, so, Doc, let's talk about your two CDs here. Um, we'll just, we got one called The Four Horsemen of yeah. the Apocalypse and one here called When History Repeats Itself. Why don't yes. you tell the, the well, listeners the, what that's about? The first one covers like what you're talking about in your booklet. It's a, it's a teaching on the four horsemen themselves, the sequence of it, the events, and all those things. They even talk about biological weapons and nuclear things that we, we're seeing today. He, John couldn't have seen any of that in his day. He wouldn't have been able to understand it in a way to even convey it. Uh, but we see those are things that are out there today. So when you come bring all that together, you, you, you have to realize when you get all four of them together, it will be easy to see how a fourth of the world's population is gone in less than a half, in less than three and a half years. Yep, they're going to die from yep. some of them in the war. Yep. Some of them from the the pestilence and yep. the famine, or actually the yep. famine that comes. And, no, and there's then, no food and, to eat. And then you have that black horse rider. He's got a balance in his hand, and it's it's telling you that this is going to have inflation, and it's going to have a food shortage. And people are going to die from both. And that's the black hole. And, and in that little, in this CD that I have, Dan, I, I walk you back to the 49th chapter of the book of Genesis. And where in Joseph, as the religious man, in three and a half years, was used to bring the people to a place in three and a half years. And the Bible there is clear. They sold their souls to Pharaoh. They did, yep. History is going to repeat itself because of inflation and food shortage and all these other things, the health that people are worried about. It's going to bring them to a place by the middle of the tribulation where they're going to say, here, I'll surrender anything. Help me stay Doc, alive. Doc, you, you, don't, you know how many times this has happened when we do these shows? Remember we did a show, we, we talked about the one show we did, the White Horse shows up, and I asked why is that guy on a white horse? Yeah. And who crowns him? It yeah. came while we were doing a show. Yeah. Something else just came to me as you're talking. Yeah. We're always saying, you know, why would they take the mark of the beast? Look what they just went through. A fourth of the world just died. A fourth of the world has died. 
They're Everybody's starving. having a hard time to find a potato to eat. There's no more chickens laying eggs because they eat all the chickens. Uh, and the inflation is so high, it won't be. The, you look at the 49th chapter and the steps that went through that brought the people in that area to succumb to the leadership, give their selves and souls to Pharaoh. It's going to happen again exactly. And so right at the middle of the tribulation, the mark of the beast system comes into me. The two witnesses yep. are killed. They mm -hmm. go back to heaven. The, yep. the, 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 the Antichrist is now trying to kill all the Jews. This is where the mark of the beast system comes into effect. Yes. And everybody gets in line. Where do I sign? What? Because they're starving e to death. Everybody will be like the economic forum is saying now. You'll own nothing and be happy. Yeah. Why will you be happy? Well, in our world today, if you've got a technological device so you can watch your favorite whatever it is and got enough soda pop to drink, yep. you're happy. And people are, people are, that's what people want. They want to sit on their couch. They want to watch their favorite they wanna, shows. They, they want don't want to have to work. Yep. I mean, every employer that I talk to as I travel cannot find anybody work. If they do, they'll work one week and quit after they get one paycheck because they've already developed yep. during the last whatever you call this thing. Everybody stayed home and got paid to do nothing. And we've got a mentality out there. It's a worldwide thing, not just in America. Folks, on the website, Pross in the Spotlight, we'll have both packages up, the, the study guide and Doc's two CD sets here. They'll be right there on the, we'll try to get them on the front page. You won't even have to go to our bookstore. You'll be able to go right from the front page, click on them. And this is important stuff. If you don't have my study guide yet, my goodness, get it. And, and I think a lot of you don't have. I know one of them they no. don't have because it's not even on your website. It's not even you, been on you my website. You just found out it wasn't uh, on there. Yeah. So the CDs, uh, this is going to be with It's the show. amazing, though, when you look at this thing and you realize what's happening now, it, it's, it, it, people are all worried about it. I tell folks, what you're going through right now is like a Sunday school picnic to what's coming. These are just foreshadows. What's taking place with the signing away of sovereignty of all the nations of the world for a pandemic to happen or whatever? You know it's going to continue, Dan. Uh, right. Because that's that last rider. He's pestilence. So let's look at, uh, before we look at these four horsemen and how they apply to what's going on right now, the shadows that we're seeing. Let's real quickly tell the folks once again, we're at the end of our quarter wow. here. Yes, we are. The bill's come and due. We, as always, we don't, we don't have the money yet. Uh, we've got we don't talk it. about it a whole lot. We try not to, but when we get the, kind of close to the end, we have to turn to the folks and say, hey, we, we, we need your help again. Doc, I told you today, I said, I, I mean, I don't understand it, but I, but I know one thing. Our show is vitally important I, on I the airwaves. I think what we're providing for people is very important. Uh, I, I, if I didn't, I wouldn't spend my time doing this. I believe God brought us here for such a time as this. Yes. I believe these shows are important to try to offset yes. the, the balance of what's out there in the process. Because so world. much of it is all about esoteric and outside of Scripture things. Uh, people need what I think we're trying to provide, balanced Bible teaching. They need to understand what's going on. Is hey, It's been in our book all along. Yep. And we're, we're, we're listener, viewer supported. That's, yes. uh, there's, that's where all the money comes from to keep us on the air. We don't get a salary from this. All the money comes in. We, we penny pinch and we, we, we do all we can yeah. to get the bill paid every three months. And, and of course now we've added another network, Little, Little Rock, Memphis, and Hot Springs. You may be uh, watching on that network today and uh, VTN, but uh, we're on CTN nationwide on satellite and DISH. And, uh, and we have a whole lot of people that watch us on YouTube. Yeah, YouTube, and yeah. of course we're on the radio now yeah. too. So the bill is coming due again, and yeah. we need your help. Pray about it. We need somebody to write a check for five thousand dollars. Quite honestly, we we need somebody to write a check. And, uh, and here's the thing, Dan, if we're right, and these four shadows tell it, we are this close to the beginning of the tribulation. That means the rabbit. If 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 I had a, a bunch of money stuck away in my bank account or my business account, I'd sure hate to go to heaven and leave it all behind for the world. Yeah. When you got an opportunity to, we're not asking for, we're not asking for gold-plated <laughs> anything in our studio. 
We just want to be able to continue to stay on TV. And what an investment opportunity yeah. for somebody. All right, so go to the website. There's a donate button there. Or if you'd like, you could call the 800 number, and they can take your donation on the phone. You can write a check and mail it. Many of you do. Um, and we appreciate it very much. We want Amen. to continue on for God here. So, with that said, Doc, let's let's uh, let's talk about the four horsemen. Yes. And and the shadow that we're seeing right now of those horsemen. Yes. I mean, they're not here yet. They're not here till till after the rapture. But we can see, man, that it's like you can almost hear the foot, the hoof prints yeah. coming down down the <laughs> yeah. way. I, will, and, I don't know who that man's going to be. And, and really, I don't care because I'm not going to be here when he left. Right. It's but. All, I keep hearing <laughs> rumbling out there, and I think it's a horse coming. Yeah. I'm looking out my window and I can see a shadow of a horse but I That's can't quite make at. it out yet but it's but it's coming. on the verge of appearance on the verge and that leads us to this WHO thing that's happening uh, mm -hmm. in fact the week that this uh, it's already happening right now as you watch this um, yeah. because this this when this show airs wow. um, that counts that it may that, be the week that changes the world yeah it? and the, it, it's what the, it's what the leader of the Roman church has been trying to get all along it's moving everything toward a world constitution. Yep. Oh yes, and it, we're it's, we're now Tucker Carlson even mentioned this uh, a week ago. Uh, by the time well, this everybody airs. else is afraid to talk about it yeah. because they don't want to expose what's this, really going this on. This is an outside group of people that are going to control everything. They're going to control where you can go. They're going to be able to close yeah. borders. They're going to be able to tell you, hey, it's it, in your district or in your county or wherever you live, it's this. you got to do that. And, and they're uh, uh, thousands of miles yeah. away. They, they'll be able to shut off a, an entire city. They'll be able to do what's doing and they'll be able to do exactly what they're doing in China right now. Yeah. Literally shutting people down, locking them in their houses, and as a result, it continues to cripple the supply chain yeah. in the world. So let's go a little They're further tied here. Together. We've got we got the money problem. We got the stock markets crashing, and everything's going to push us to dependency upon That's a, it. a system of government, either American or global. Uh, it's going to be a global thing. It's. And the world reset. I, 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 I'm an American and I'm proud to be an American, but I'm telling you, we're, we're going down, Dan, I'm talk afraid. To, let's talk a little bit about these other horses, the, yes. the famine that comes, of course, the war. we got we're, war going we're on. We're already watching as a result of the supply chain. And war, Russia, I mean, there's people in Congress saying that we're at war with Russia right now. Yeah. I mean, these, these, people, are, these are our leaders in America. Yeah. Uh, I, now Russia's got nowhere to go but down to the Golan Heights, and I'm I'm convinced that that's coming yeah. very soon. We're gonna and, and we keep we keep writing blank checks uh, for foreign nations and can't even protect our own borders. And you put it all together, yeah. man. I'm telling you, we're yeah. It isn't that we can't protect our borders. We oh, won't. Oh, we won't. We won't. We're allowing our country Absolutely. to be overcome. Yep. While we send money and we're, we're, we're protecting someone else's border, while ours yeah. is bringing drugs and, and we're not drugs. A, we're not even protecting their borders. We're, we're, yeah, we've only get we're started on We're sending money that. to a bunch of oligarchs. Us Vietnam vets aren't too happy with what's going on. I can yeah. tell you that. So let's go to the next step, the the famine part. Now you you you're a farmer and you you know yep. you've got some understanding about this fertilizer and oh, what's going yeah. on. Um, yep. War leads to famine. It always leads. Number one, uh, because your 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 distribution, your your railways, your shipping, all of those things are threatened or crippled as a result of war. A, a railroad trestles taken out. That whole track system is shut down. Uh, and, and so then the, dis, the, the the manufacturing plants, if they get crippled or they're hurt in our world today, that can be done technologically. Yeah. And so when it comes to a farmer in our world today, because we plant only basically in our fields, particularly in America, South America is no different than North America. We plant GMO, genetically modified seed. All right. Yeah. So that means that particular seed requires a particular chemical to go with it to kill the uh, weeds and grass around it. It won't use this one because it's designed for that one. It's going to require this kind of a mineral to be added to your ground as fertilizer. Not this one, but this one because it's designed for it. And so uh, what's happening right now, uh, the Union Railroad, the Union Pacific Railroad, out of nowhere, 
sent a sent out an order to the fertilizer plant down in Louisiana where the majority of the fertilizer in America comes from out of Louisiana told them you have to cut back 20 percent on how much you put in a railroad car wait a minute and the price has more than doubled is what yeah. I read on fertilizer farmers are not only paying extra price but now they're only going to get 80 percent delivered rather than a hundred percent now why and, and then why over in Europe all of a sudden out of nowhere they closed down a they closed down a mine that makes particular minerals for making aluminum foil, and they're not going to open it up till 2023. So, so we can see that horseman. We, you can, we see. can see the the, the and, black and horse of And it's of an organized collusion worldwide to bring in one world government. It has to be a spirit beyond that's controlling yeah. all of this. Now let's get to where the, what this really leads to is the the pale that's, horse, yeah. death. Pestilence. Death and hell. The picture there is that of an individual who's in the throes of death, the skin color, the paleness. That's the gnarly color of this yeah. horse. And uh, yes, all four of them play in together with all the pestilence. I'm not so sure, but what the pestilence aren't some of the chemically designed pestilences that we've already experienced. Yeah. You can see the foreshadows. If folks can't see the foreshadowing, of what's really coming. Uh, they're blind. That's all and, there is to it. And it's all interconnected with this thing from two years ago. Yes. Medical emergencies and turning would have over thought, our lives to would have thought two some years guy in a white jacket. We would be where we're at today. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. this 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 thing caught everybody off guard. They, it's and the closer we get, the the more rapid the changes come. It, it's a birth pain process. As that baby is getting ready to be born, those birth pains the mother expects, experiences, they get closer together and more severe until it happens. And we're watching that happen. You and I, we cannot acclimate quick enough well, to Doc, the changes. In the 30 seconds we got left, tell the viewers how to be how to avoid this. Number one, you must be born again. If you've never been saved, you've never received Christ your Savior, you need to understand God loved you so much He went to Calvary's cross, paid the price of sin for you. But that gift of eternal life doesn't become yours until you in faith reach out and believe and receive it. If you need help, contact us. All right. Well, we've had, I uh, hope you've enjoyed the show today. Very sobering. But until next time, keep your eyes on them skies.